This is VOA News. Via remote, I'm Marissa Melton. Russia continues to accuse Ukraine of targeting the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. AP correspondent Zarya Shackley has the story. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov says the plant was shelled three times over the past day. Konashenkov added that 17 ordnance were fired at the plant in total, with four hitting a block where 168 packages of American Westinghouse nuclear fuel are stored. Konashenkov said a U.S.-made M777 howitzer was destroyed by Russian artillery return fire. I'm Zaria Shakli. Poland and the Czech Republic have signed an agreement to protect Slovak airspace as Slovakia gives up its old Soviet-made MiG-29 jets. The protection is meant to last until Slovakia receives new F-16s from the United States in 2024. Slovakia has a fleet of 11 MiG-29 jets. It has said it may consider donating them to Ukraine. Since the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine February 24th, Ukraine has urged Western allies to provide it with warplanes to challenge Russia's air superiority. The Burkina Faso arms said Saturday that unidentified gunmen killed six people and wounded two others in an attack on a convoy from a gold mine in the eastern part of the country. The army said in its statement that last week five vehicles were dispatched from the mine to help a nearby convoy that had been stuck in the mud for days. The attack occurred after the convoy was back on the road again. The assailants targeted five support vehicles when they became separated from the convoy and its security detail. You're listening to VOA News. Hundreds of people have demonstrated in several parts of India to protest a recent government decision to free 11 men who'd been jailed for life for gang-raping a Muslim woman during India's religious riots in 2002. The protesters in New Delhi on Saturday demanded the government rescind the decision. The 11 men were released on suspended sentence August 15th when India celebrated 75 years of independence They had been convicted in 2008 of rape, murder, and unlawful assembly. Intense fighting erupted in the Libyan capital overnight and lasted until Saturday morning with rival factions exchanging heavy gunfire and the sounds of several loud blasts ricocheting around the city. Witnesses said the clashes took place in Tripoli's city center amid a political standoff over control of Libya's government. Pictures and video shared online showed military vehicles speeding through the streets of the city center. Reuters news agency, which reported the fighting, could not verify the accuracy of the images. Fighting stopped in late morning with no comment from the rival factions and no word on the number of casualties. The main Libyan standoff pits the government of national unity in Tripoli against a rival administration backed by an eastern-based parliament. The United Nations mission in the country warned this week against any attempt to resolve the dispute through violence. In the United States, a few states have been amending or repealing so-called pay-to-stay laws that require former prisoners to reimburse states for the cost of their prison stays, sometimes at daily rates exceeding what they would have paid to stay in a hotel. AP correspondent Julie Walker has more. Connecticut became the latest state to tweak its law this summer. Even with the changes, some former prisoners remain deep in debt. A woman there who was billed nearly $84,000 for her two-and-a-half-year prison stay has filed a federal lawsuit, saying even after reforms, the state's law, which charges $249 a day, is unconstitutional. The University of Southern California's Brittany Friedman is leading a study of pay-to-stay. It is creating extended punishment, so it's linking people to the justice system longer simply because they cannot pay. I'm Julie Walker. Authorities say three Dutch soldiers were shot and wounded early Saturday in downtown Indianapolis in the U.S. state of Indiana following what police believe was a disturbance outside the hotel where they were staying. The shooting occurred around 3 in the morning in Indianapolis's entertainment district. Police found three men with gunshot wounds. They were taken to hospitals. Marissa Melton, VOA News.